Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today we are taking a look at Chris Busher's 2022 dual race win in Elite. Uh, been a while since this one's been out, but I never got around to making a review on it, so that's what I got a website for. Not planning on sticking around in my collection, but it is available on the website, so good give a good chance to look at one of these before the uh, Bristol comes in. So let's go ahead and get started though. Uh, we have our standard elite box of the 2022 season. We also have the race win sleeve here. Uh, obviously it's that style where it's got this. So 2023, that goes away. Thank goodness. Um, so yeah, that is our, our uh, box. Let's see. Production number is one of 116 and fingers crossed. I think that um, they'll make both dual wins from this year and I'll have both of those because those will go in Maybe not this case, because that's cup winners, like points races that I've been to. Um, but uh, I'll probably find a spot for for those for the Joey and the Eric Almarola. Uh, anyway, let's show you the two things that come with it. It does come with a, uh, or actually two things, one thing. There is no race win sticker because it's a, a dual race. But we do have Chris Busher's stat card here. So the Blue Green Vacations dual win number two, February 17th, 2022. Flip it around to the back. Time of the race, eight. 18, no, 48. Why am I reading so bad today? Mm, I don't know. It's probably because it's midnight. Anyway, uh, start of 14th, total of 60 laps, uh, number of cautions, one for one lap. Not even sure how that happens. Oh, and, and it was under caution, the last lap. Oh, that's right. Joey Logano wrecked himself. I remember that now. Um, he led 17 laps and, uh, yeah, one under caution, so... I said I didn't know what happened, and then I remembered immediately. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. So here is the car here. This is the first RFK win since they had their rebranding. Brad would turn around and then win the next race. And then um, obviously they got their win again at Bristol. So uh, very cool. I cannot wait to get this car from Bristol. But we'll get in. We'll get through this one first. So uh, as you can see down the left side, we do have the chrome number on the side of the door here. We got Fastenal both on the hood and down the side. You can see the three pillars for RFK. That's what they told us to call them, the pillars. Uh, then you got this kind of, uh, I don't know what you call it, a hexagon on, like, texturing going on there uh, we got fifth third bank we got the ethanol ring big tall clear top spoiler um which is actually accurate for super speedway so it doesn't look too bad but that being said i really hope by this year they finally fix these stupid spoilers i don't want them to be this tall forever like i said this one's accurate so i'm not complaining about this one specifically but i hope the rest of them aren't um there's roof laps they pop open and our number 17 there also they did rebrand the 17 for 2023 um i don't think that was on the um the Bristol win, but shortly after that is when they did that. We do have DeWalt back here on the back of the 17. That's kind of interesting. DeWalt, I didn't know they still sponsored over here at uh, RFK, so that's news to me. Uh, like I said, big tall spoiler. You can see the uh, trunk opens up there, and we got DIN number seven. So uh, get one more number one on there, and all of a sudden we got a door, but we didn't. Uh, we got Busher on the rear window, all the little vents through there. We also have the antenna holes up there on the roof. Uh, windshield does have the right name, so we got Ford, Busher, you can see the vent for the air, the little rivets, all those little silver dots or rivets that kind of hold the windshield in, or some type of fastener. I assume they, maybe, they're my, they're probably rivets, but I'm not sure. Um, here on the back, you can see we're using great, we're making great use of this space of the car. You can see fasten all here, and if they were to just slide it back here, the door number could be right where it's supposed to be, and just imagine how good this car looks. Let's, let's slide fasten all back here, slide the number to there, and just tell me, this car, tell me why this car would not look incredible. I, I, I'll wait. I'll wait. Like, this is so frustrating. There are so many cars that if you just slid the number back and the sponsor back, there would be plenty of room for both, and it would look so much better. <sighs> it frustrates me. It's just like, it's so, it's like an unnecessary forced thing. Like, when they're trying so hard to tell you they need it, but they don't. Anyway, uh, back to the... the the main part here you can see the carbon fiber rocker box down here on the bottom there's the arrow for the jack and there's the exhaust there a um, couple marks on the tires not much uh, once you get to the nose you can see the grill is wide open no grill tape because that's not legal and then um, we got fast on then the two hood vents here on the hood uh, the matte blue paint scheme looking pretty sharp i will say uh, let's go ahead and pop that hood open take a look underneath at our engine detail uh, you can see the hood gets nice and open so you can see pretty well in there but um, the blue valve cover is covering up the silver engine block and then once you get past that uh, pretty tough to see further down in there uh, there are those holes you see there right there you can still put plug wires in this if you really wanted to uh, to add that extra detail layer um, because it is the same engine as what the Gen 6 had in terms of the molding and stuff. So if you go get an old one, you could trick out one of these if you really wanted to. Um, 
I'll do that maybe someday just for, for good measure. Uh, underneath, though, den number seven on the on this plate. Uh, one, two, three, four screws, and this would come off, and you would be able to have your metal chassis available. It does have the posable wheels and functioning suspension. That's for the Elite. Posable wheels do happen on the ARC, but no suspension. Um, so, yeah. Other than that, though, guys, it's a pretty basic race win. Honestly, these are some of my favorites to get when... Um, when my guy, when I like to paint scheme is when they win a dual race, because I still get all the race detail, which means, uh, the accurate windshield banner, the accurate spoiler generally, uh, actually this one is, but accurate spoiler, you get accurate, accurate, um, sponsor decal sizes and locations just because you know the first car of the year they always move a few things they always kind of shift a thing here or there uh change maybe a color tone or something they make it a little brighter a little lower so that's where i've always liked it a perfect example is the 2017 chase elliott uh dual win versus the car that came out uh one of them had elliott on the front windshield and the rear windshield and the other one just had on the rear because they you know that was when they decided they were putting Monster Energy on the front windshield banner. Uh, the spoiler went from full height to the real short spoiler. Um, just all that little detail was added to the dual win that wasn't on the original car and, uh, you know, definitely makes me appreciate that more and uh, makes me like that one. So, anyway, guys, that'll wrap up the review. You can find this one and the ARC version at RASDiecast.com. That'll be linked in the description below. Uh, use the promo code RACECRAZE at checkout if you're interested in not just this, but any other cars on the website. New sprint car pre-orders are up, and we're just getting all our race wins caught back up from a little bit of a hiatus. So, be patient. Um, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. This has been Race Craze, and we will see you in the next Diecast Review.